Hi everybody, it's Stephanie with Planning with Peanutty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have something totally different. I usually do happy planner videos and I have a happy planner video of a sort. I'm going to take an old happy planner that I never got around to using and I'm going to repurpose it as a junk journal. So this is that Stephanie Fleming happy planner that came out last year and I had other planners and didn't use it. I think I got it on clearance, but I want to turn it into a junk journal and I had ordered these Pride and Prejudice covers from an Etsy shop online. I'll link her shop below. Um, she did a custom job for me. She had some Nancy Drew book covers and I asked her if she could do this old Pride and Prejudice cover, which she did for me because I was going to make a book planner a couple years ago. And then a couple weeks after I got this cover in the mail, the Happy Planner came out with their book planner line and I ended up buying one of those. So I had these covers, hadn't used them, but I thought they'd be perfect for a junk journal because usually in junk journals you use an old book. So I thought it'd be nice to have this nice vintage touch of The Pride and Prejudice, one of my favorite books, as the cover. And I think it goes well with these gold discs on here. So I'm just going to pop that cover on. And we're going to show you how I set up this old planner to use as a junk journal. Now, I've never done a junk journal before on discs, so this is new to me as well. And I'm going to actually save the packaging on that old cover and we'll use that. We'll just use everything because it's a junk journal. You put your junk in there and it's going to be great. <laughs> Check out to see the flip through of my previous junk journal. I just posted it the day before I posted this video. So look right before this one. And that was my first attempt at a junk journal. This is my first attempt at a disc bound journal. So we'll see how I like it and how it goes. But I'm going to go ahead and pull out these pages just for now so I can set those aside. So pretty much just ended up with the cover and the discs for now. And again, I'm going to use all that packaging. So I'm not going to throw any of that away. Now I did buy a Daphne's Diary scrapbook paper block and it's just a book full of decorative papers I absolutely love it I think they're beautiful so I wanted to use this as the main source for my junk journal traditionally junk journals you would use junk mail and old papers and things you had around the house but I want mine to be a little prettier so I'm going to use this gorgeous paper so I'm just going to grab one of those sheets of the happy planner paper so that I know what size to make this paper so let's just tear out a few of these. And I thought they'd be perforated along the book because it is just a book of paper, but they're not perforated. So I had to be a little careful tearing these pages out. Could also have used a craft knife and slice those out. That's all right. And we'll just have that torn edge on that side. You could either cut it off or we could use that torn edge in the journal. So I'll fast forward as I tear more pages out. And in today's video, I just pull out an assortment there, but I do go back and actually take all the pages out. And in a normal junk journal, you'd put five or six pages together and then sew the spine into the book. Um, but we're going to do it a little different because we're using a disc bound method. And this paper, in case you don't have an old happy planner, but you still want to make a junk journal, this paper measures seven inches across and nine and a quarter in length. So let me go ahead and write that on that paper there for you. So seven inches by nine and a quarter inches. A uh, funny story, we were in the fabric store the other day and said we'd like a quarter of a yard and she said, do you mean a fourth? Um, maybe not so sure that a fourth and a quarter are the same thing. <laughs> Okay, cut the paper down, but keep all those little scraps because we can definitely use those in the future for future projects and maybe even for this project. And so once those are all roughly the size we want, I'm going to grab my Happy Planner Punch here. I've had this one a few years, still no problems. And you just want to make sure not to punch more than two or three sheets at a time. If the sheets are thicker or the paper's thicker, I would just punch one. We don't want it jamming up on you. There we go. And I'm not super concerned with it being perfect. So if I'm punching a little higher, a little lower each time, I'm okay with that. Because I don't want this junk journal exactly perfect. I like it looking homemade. All right, so I'm just going to pop those in there. And when putting them on the discs, you also only want to do about three or four pages at a time. Um, if you put 
too many papers on it once it tends to bend the paper right around those holes um, which just weakens it over time so just a couple pages at a time and here's that packaging we're going to throw that in here as well because we can always come back and collage over it or paint over it oh that one was torn a little bit so i'm okay with having that torn edge that's fine with me and again let's hang on to this packaging we can definitely use it and it's the perfect size it's already punched ready to pop in here and even this skinny one you could use it like a bookmark you could glue other things to it and if you don't want to punch holes in them maybe like pictures or something but i think i'm actually going to cover it with some of these scraps i'm going to pick some of the more colorful ones um, just by punching these and gluing it to that piece on both sides Yeah, there we go. Now we have a nice little bookmark or just a middle piece that we can, again, glue anything you want to it or leave it as is. You know, don't throw away that paper packaging. We can definitely reuse it. And even this little Stephanie Fleming page, we can reuse that as well. Okay, let's set that aside. Then we have some of these little paper pads. I think some of these you get at Hobby Lobby or the craft stores. Uh, maybe Tuesday morning have I seen these at Tuesday morning um, but definitely Michael's Joanne's Hobby Lobby and then we can just punch these as well they don't have to be that seven by nine and a quarter they can be any size and I'm just gonna punch these and let's fast forward the others and we can trim off that little piece of trim you can use a ruler and tear it that way and we can just pop these in randomly. And then, you know, they add interest because they're a different size. And you can just maybe some pictures or extra journaling. And then what I love about this disc bound system is where other junk journals, you sew the pages or glue the pages in. This way you can move the pages around to really be however you want. Now, this was a pad of watercolor paper that I got at Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance there for $2.24 instead of $10. So I thought it'd be fun to add some watercolor paper to the junk journal. You can see this is a little older. It looks like the glues come off from the binding of that book there. But I'm just going to take one of those, cut it in half, punch them. Now that watercolor paper is thick. So I'm just going to punch one page at a time very carefully. Yeah, you can see how much more pressure I had to use there. All right, now we've got some watercolor paper that we could put right in the journal. And you could maybe do a little watercoloring. It adds nice texture. And I'm trying to mix it up so that I don't have all the Daphne Diaries papers together and all the other papers together. Okay. And then looking at the Daphne Diaries freebies that came in my order, they had this sheet of bookmarks. So I want to use this second bookmark in. So I'm just going to cut these real quick. And then we can just punch that and pop it in the journal. So I do want it to stick up a little extra higher than the page so then I'm going to mark where to punch the other pages I'm not so concerned with exactly punching perfectly but with the bookmark I do want it sticking up a little bit all right and this isn't as thick as that watercolor paper so it punches quite easily the other thing with the punches is if your paper is too thin you might want to add an extra layer of paper so like washi tape is really thin I always add extra paper when I'm punching washi tape so it doesn't um, so it actually punches all the way through. Now you can see I had a little jam. I wanted to include this instead of cutting that out. So I just flip it over, take the back off and use something to pop the prong back out and then it's okay. So it didn't damage the holes or the paper at all. You just don't want to tear the paper out of the punch. If it's sticking, you want to flip it over like that and see if you can get the prongs to release and then it'll slide out easily. And now we have a little bookmark that sticks up above all the papers nicely. All right, let's take a look. 
Okay, so the Daphne's Diary is this magazine. It's from Europe. It's a little pricey, but I absolutely love it. They have little craft projects in here. She includes uh, pictures from trips, different cities. There's crafts, there's recipes, you know, there's stickers in here. These, um, she includes decorative papers, always spotlight and a couple artists. There's poems. I mean, it's, I love it. <laughs> it's an amazing magazine and the illustrations are absolutely gorgeous. I'm sorry that I'm a little out of frame here, but I'm going to grab a couple pages from here. You can see the decorative papers they include. Sometimes they include little projects that you could use those papers with, but you could use those papers really whatever you want. And then I love this picture of this statue of Coco Chanel. So I'm just going to grab that page. And then right next to it was this poem on listening. And we had a recipe on the back. But I think I'm going to grab that page as well. A little torn, but that's okay. All right, now you can see it's quite a bit larger than the Happy Planner, than that junk journal. So I'm going to need to cut these down. Or you can tear them down to size. I'm going to grab a ruler and then just kind of roughly eyeball it. So using the ruler, we could just tear along there and across the top. That's about, it's a little smaller, you can see, but that's all right. But now we're quite a bit too long. So I'm just going to tear a part of her head. And then let's see if that's, yeah, that looks about right. Let's go ahead and punch it. All right, very nice. So that edge being a little wonky, I'm just gonna straighten that out a little bit. And I'm all right with it being shorter than the other paper. And then the Coco Chanel, we also need to trim that down. I thought I could get away with keeping that at the bottom. It's still too long. Yeah, I really like that. <laughs> and that, I'm, I think I'd just leave that as is. I love it. Not try to cover it or collage it with anything. Okay, and then let's take a look. So I actually do go back in and add another watercolor page. But this one, I'm not going to try to make it 50-50. I'm going to have one a little smaller than the other. And I realized that larger one was a bit crooked, so straighten that out. Okay, we're getting there. Then that Daphne's Diary sticker book, I also ordered the same time I got the paper. If you want to see a flip through of the entire paper pack, check out the video. I'll put it in the description below. And if you want to see a complete flip through of this sticker book, I'll put that video in the description below as well. I love these stickers. They're so beautiful, but they are quite a bit thinner than the Happy Planner stickers. So just be aware of that. And they're all this glossy finish. I just thought it'd be fun to pop one of those in here. I love this house. It's really cute. Okay, but I'm definitely going to hang on to that sticker book and use it with pages in the future. And then I did want to pop in some of these planner pages. I definitely want to use those. We could use the dividers, but I think I'm going to hold off on those. All right, so I think I'll just add the inserts to the monthly sections just in the back here. Again, three or four pages at a time, which is about a month's worth. 
All right, and I'm going to hang on to the rest of that. All right, we'll add a couple more things here. So the very front of the journals, I like having a page where I could write my name, the date, and I'm thinking of using one of these frames, either on that front page or on the cover. And this came with the Daphne's Diary Order, some freebies. So we have that oval frame and then this kind of lantern shaped frame. And it's double sided so we could pick from which side we like. And the oval does pop out the center. The lantern shaped one doesn't. And I'm going to use that center oval too. So I'm not throwing any of that away. I'm trying to get an idea for which size I like, which page. That's a little too busy. And then I'm not so crazy about the oval. That's a little too busy too. Oh, I do like it over here. Let's see if I like the other side better. And we kind of lose it on the paper. And then on that red side, it's a little plain. Yeah, I think I'm liking this more decorative side. What do you guys think? So I'm just going to grab my tape runner, some double-sided adhesive there. And because that cover is so glossy, I'm thinking a glue stick might not hold it down too well. So I'm going to use this dry glue. And then just pop that on that cover. Yeah, because the paper is glossy too. I think that's pretty cute. And then I'll be able to write my name in there and the dates. All right, so we used some Daphne's Diary items, the, the magazines and the sticker and paper, watercolor paper, an old happy planner. Now, I actually did not use this Disney pamphlet, but I did have that. I think I'm going to save it for a Disney project. And then some of the smaller paper pads. And even after I finished this video, I went back in and added some sheet music and some envelopes. So you can really add whatever you want to it. And I love that it's on discs because I'll be able to mix it up and really customize it as we go. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure to click like if you like this video. Subscribe to see more. I will do more pages in this junk journal. But thanks so much for watching, everybody. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.